dawn, and as the sun breaks through the piercing chill of night on the plain outside Corum, it lights up a biblical famine, now in the 20th century. This place, say workers here, is the closest thing to hell on earth. going to do a concert. Now, Bob in his way, this wasn't a consultation with the trustees, this was a statement of fact, this was going to happen. And I think we were all were scared. I actually basically told him to fuck off at first because I just thought it was being ridiculous. We had a press conference at Wembley to announce the whole thing, which was a bit of a farce really, because we actually didn't have anybody confirmed at that point. <laughs> At all. has been shown on 95% of the televisions on earth. We've never been wealthier, we've never been healthier. We know what it costs, we know what to do. Do it. Do it. No! You never really forget any conversation with Bob. Uh, and once you've got through the, the various expletives, <laughs> you know, he makes it pretty clear what, what he wants. Everybody knew that neither Make Poverty History nor Band-Aid particularly needed to be in a fundraising exercise again. This was an awareness raising exercise. Wonderful idea, except there was about 10 million pounds worth of infrastructure that had to be paid for. And where did that come from? I simply didn't know how you were supposed to put on five concerts with free tickets with all the expenses that that involves, but nobody else seemed to care. that millions of you have tuned in is because every three seconds in one of the poorest countries in the world, a child dies as a result of extreme poverty. Every three seconds, dead. Everybody around the world, let me see your hands all over the world.
See this little girl? She had 10 minutes to live 20 years ago. And because we did a concert last week, she did her agricultural exams in the school she goes to in the northern Ethiopian highlands. She's here tonight, this little girl. Here I am. These eight men refuse us now.